everyone, and welcome to this edition of your HLGU News Update. I'm Whitney Brandstetter. Up first, the finalists have performed and the audience voted for the top choice. Here's a look at the Trojan Idol finale. And then there were four. After months of competition, students at Hannibal LaGrange University gathered in the Parker Theater on March 24th to vote for their favorite Trojan Idol contestant. The four finalists took this stage to battle it out. We have um, three females and a male. So we like to have those guys in there in the top four. Um, and we have a judge's pick song. Um, this year our main judges have been Sarah Keck and Dr. Don Colburn. And so they've picked a song for each of the contestants. And then the contestants pick their own song. Um, just to kind of give a variety. And we also have um, two guest judges also for this final. And the students will vote and we'll see who the Trojan Idol contestant will be. And along the way, regular and guest judges offered feedback to each contestant in an effort to help them improve. I think it's important to be honest. Um, we've had some people that really just could not um, Sing. I think that's good because they push you and I love the guest judges because they always have new ideas and not just the same things that you hear every single week. Students say watching their peers go week to week is the most enjoyable part of the competition. It really surprised me just Lindsay's range and her, way, her technique because that's a really hard song to sing. There's a lot of articulation. I've, uh, I've never been to a school where there's so many talented uh, you know, singers. They're just so many people were, they just, they had voices that, you know, were just so distinct and unique. Even though Stephen Myers got cut in the first round of Idol, he gained the job of MC, demonstrating skills that perhaps could compete with American Idol's Ryan Seacrest. I'm, I'm taller, I'm better looking, more talented, and I live in Hannibal, Missouri, which is way cooler than Los Angeles, you know. <laughs> In the end, only one of the contestants could win. And after a night of fierce competition, Elisa Askew was crowned this year's Trojan Idol. Our 2011 Trojan Idol is Elisa Although this year's talent was strong, the students at HLGU are sure to bring another great round of competition next year. Congratulations to Elisa and the rest of the finalists. By now, you have probably heard about the devastating tsunami that hit the Pacific coast of Japan on March 11th. But a group of Japanese students at HLGU decided to do something about it. They raised money for the people in their country and invited the campus community to sign this flag and send letters of encouragement. The money will be sent to the American Red Cross. Students collected money in the CAF during lunch and dinner and stood outside the Hannibal Walmart. The amount raised totaled to just over $1,200. We have raised over $1,000. $280. The Hannibal LaGrange University Student Activities Committee, or SAC, is a group of volunteers working hard behind the scenes to make your college life exciting. SAC is responsible for most of the events that occur on campus, everything from Twerp Week to Trojan Idol. One of the events coordinated by SAC is the Spring Gala. Students are treated to a formal banquet, musical performance, and elegant desserts. Director of Student Activities, Margaret Street, says the turnout this year was high. I'm excited about the turnout we've had tonight um, for our first time on campus. Um, it's worked out well, and um, we've had so many student volunteers helping, you know, set up. So it's just time to socialize, dress up, and kind of enjoy um, an evening with your friends. This year, the event was held in the lobby of the Roland Fine Arts Center. And finally, HLGU 
is going to Six Flags. So come on down, get your tickets, get them um, for you, bring a friend, and head down to Six Flags on the 16th. The St. Louis Park opens later this month and will feature a brand new swing ride called the Sky Screamer. Tickets for the trip are just $13 and that's a $31 savings. Transportation is available for the April 16th trip. You can purchase your tickets at that discounted rate from the Student Activities Office on the ground floor of the Burt Administration Building. Tickets are being sold on a first-come, first-served basis. That's all the time we have for now. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs>